Dr. Budoff, what is a ganglion cyst? A ganglion cyst is the most common bump around the wrist. It can be on this side of the wrist, which we call dorsal, or this side of the wrist, which we call volar. Basically, the wrist joint has a balloon around it. We call it the wrist joint capsule. There's a weakness in the ligaments of that capsule. It could be due to trauma. It could be due to repetitive trauma. It could be just a natural ligament weakness. And then you get a herniation of the joint fluid, which is the motor oil uh, that lubricates your joint. And it comes up. It has a one-way valve, which is not always a perfect one-way valve, but there's some type of a one-way valve mechanism. And that prevents it from going back. So when you exercise and increase the joint pressure in the wrist or grip things or do activities, it may get bigger and it's also painful from the pressure. And if the valve is not fully competent uh, with rest, it could maybe go down a little bit. How is a ganglion cyst diagnosed? Um, not every bump around the wrist is a ganglion. And to just blow off every bump around the wrist and say, oh, it's nothing is a ganglion, uh, I can't really recommend that. My advice, go to a fellowship trained hand and wrist surgeon. We can usually just eyeball and we know which ones are ganglions and which ones are not. Um, you can always transilluminate it with a flashlight, put a flashlight on one end, and if it you can see it through the other end, then the whole thing sort of lights up like a balloon, like a, like a light bulb, I guess. Um, that's usually a ganglion. What happens if you don't treat a ganglion cyst? If you don't treat it, you got what you got. Um, unless they're pressing on a nerve, which is really pretty unusual, pretty rare, uh, they don't cause any damage. So you can live with them if you want to. If they're not hurting or growing so much, they don't bother you, you can live with them. How is a ganglion cyst treated? Okay, you see a lot of dumb ideas on the internet. Do not take a book like a Bible and smash your wrist. I mean, that's just, <laughs> I can't recommend that. Basically, if they're dorsal ganglions on the back of the wrist, I'll aspirate them. Um, just do that in the office and that confirms the diagnosis because you get this gelatin like fluid the motor oil for the joint so to speak um, and That confirms the diagnosis and often gets rid of it now a third of the time That's just treatment. It doesn't come back two or three times. It comes back and then you can decide if you want to live with it or uh, Get rid of it um, when they're on the volar side or this side palmar side of the wrist oftentimes they wrap around the radial artery and so you don't want to put a needle into that area because it can get pretty exciting in a clinic, which we can both do without. So oftentimes you just either live with it or have it removed on that side. Now, surgically, uh, and this is covered on my website, rearmyourselftexas.com. Basically, if you, somebody just goes and takes out the ganglion, which happens too commonly, it comes right back. Why? Because it comes from the joint, and the issue is that one-way valve. If you leave the valve, it's going to reform. What you need to do is go down to the joint and cut out the valve. So essentially you cut out the one-way valve and then you just have an open area, which is a two-way valve, so that you cannot get pressure forcing the uh, motor oil from the joint out, but not letting it back in. So that takes care of it. One thing I will say in kids or Young teenagers with open growth plates, the rate of recurrence is a lot higher than for adults. So if at all possible, unless it's limiting your activities and really messing up their childhood, if you can wait until you're done growing before you have the ganglion removed, uh, I would recommend that. The ganglion excision, it's under half hour of surgery. Um, it's outpatient surgery uh, and they do very well. Thank you for your time today, Dr. Budoff. Thank you.